Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander. and today we are adding mixed numbers. So everything we've been learning, we are actually going to put into play and combine all together. So when adding mixed numbers, the first thing we do is take those mixed numbers and convert them to an improper fraction. Yes, you will have to do both numbers and make sure you follow the formula where you multiply the denominator of the whole number and add the numerator. You'll do it both with both of them. Once we do that, we find a common denominator. Once we find the common denominator, once we figure out the number, the least common multiple for our common denominator, we need to convert our denominators so that they are common, they're the same. We're gonna add our numerators together. Remember the denominator comes over and then we need to simplify. If we can simplify by reducing our number, we'll do that. And if not, we'll, and if, if not, we need to look to see if it's an improper fraction or if it's a fraction. Does it follow the rule or doesn't it? If it doesn't, we need to turn it back into a mixed number. So let's go look at our model, model problem. We have two and a quarter and three and one fifth. So yes, we need to convert to an improper fraction both numbers. So I'm going to jump into our scribble. I'm going to hit scribble here. We have two and one quarter, and then we have three and one fifth. So again, we do four times two plus one. So we have eight plus one, which is nine, and it's fourths. Remember my denominator right here doesn't change. This denominator does not change. Now I do five times three plus one, which is 15 plus one, which is 14 over, remember my denominator does not change, five. So here are my new numbers. I'm gonna hit save and close. I will make this a little smaller. So right down here, I'm just gonna write it out again. I have nine fourths, add 14 fifths. That is our new problem. So right here, I know my first denominator is a four, and I know my second denominator is a five. Oops, let's write five. Again, we find our common multiples. So I'm gonna write the my five multiples for four, which is four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. And then here I'll do it for five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And yes, you guys are right. The com least common multiple pull for five, four and five is 20. So I'm gonna just quick highlight it, even though we know what it is, just make sure we're doing it right. Yes, I just noticed that I used periods instead of commas. I can quick fix that. And accidents happen, it's just how you deal with it. Now we're gonna, once we've found our, com we're gonna convert. So we have nine fourths times some fr number fraction, which equals some number over 20. So four times what? Good job, you guys. And what do we know about what goes in our numerator? Yes, the same as our denominator. Five times nine? Yes, is 45. Now that we have our first number, 45 twentieths, add, we'll find our next one. So I'm gonna push, we got 14 over five, times some fraction equals some number over 20. Five times what is 20? Yes, four. Very good, what you do the bottom, you do the top. Now we do four times 14. You could do this a few ways, you can write it down, but I'm just gonna quick do it. So you can see four times four is 16. So I'm gonna write the six here. I know I carry the one, Four times one is four plus one is five. So right here, I'm gonna write a five. 
So I just did that kind of out loud. Four times four, make sure I carry my one, four times one. So now we have 56 twentieths, which equals, and now I'm gonna add it across. Five plus six is one, carry. Five plus one is six, plus four is 10. And what's my denominator? Yes, it is 20. So now I'm thinking of all the numbers possible. Do I need to write, you guys, there's no way to simplify this, but we can turn the mixed number into an improper, the improper fraction into a mixed number. So one thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and write my improper fraction right here just so in case I make it oops and mess up a little bit, I still have the correct answer. So I have 101 over 20. Now remember, doing the drawing's a little hard when it's 20. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the division. 101, 20, goes into one, no, 20 goes into 10, no, 20 into 101, actually goes five times, because five times 20 is 100. And if you didn't know that, you could always do it where you do the 20 plus 20, which is 40, plus 20, which is 60, plus 20, which is 80, plus 20, which is 100. And then we have a remainder one. So this would be one, five and one twentieth. Because remember, my denominator never changes. So now I'm gonna hit save. And then right over here, I go five and one twentieth. Yes, I do want to see both the make the improper fraction and the mixed number. So let's quick go look at one more. We've got sorry, two and two six and three and a half. Two and two six. Two and two six and three and a half. So we go six times two, good job you guys, plus two, 12 plus two, which is 14 over two. And then we have two times three, good job, plus one. So it's six plus one, which is seven halves. Okay, I'm going to hit save and close. So there's a couple things we could do here, but we're going to leave it alone. We have 14 halves plus 7 halves. Oh, it's 14 six, you guys. I did what you guys did. Make sure we keep the same denominator. I just realized I changed my denominator and you're not supposed to, you're supposed to keep it the same. So we have the number six and the number two. So I'm gonna quick do the sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And I see that 6 goes into both. So I'm going to quick highlight those. Okay, now we're going to convert that 14, 6. You're right, six is my, denom my least common multiple, so I can just bring it straight down, and I'm gonna add them. And I'm gonna just kind of poke over here. I have seven halves, 
Remember, I'm multiplying some fraction, which equals some fraction over 6. 2 times what is 6? Great job. It is 3, you guys. I want you to do the bottom. You do the top. 3 times 7? Yes, 21. So right over here, I'm going to go 21, 6 equals. So now I'm going to add these up, 14 and 21. So it's 4 and 1. Five. Good job, you guys. And then two and one. Yes, three. So it's 35 over. Yes, six. Remember, our denominator doesn't change. So now I'm going to click into my simplify because I know I cannot take a number out of 35 and six. That is common. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it into my improper my mixed number so right here I'm gonna go right here of 35 6 so I need 6 into 35 and I know that 6 times 5 is 30 which leaves 5 left over and 5 is smaller than 6, so it's a remainder. So my answer is 5 and 5, 6. That is my answer. And if you weren't too sure, you just look at your multiples at the top. So I'm going to hit Save. And right down here, I'm doing 35, 6 equals 5 and 5, 6. I hope this helped. Um, Remember while you're doing this math to smile, giggle, and wiggle, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.